Hey folks, and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. This is the Jeep Wrangler, and we all know this is one of the most fun adventure vehicles on the market. But what truly makes an adventure special? Well, that is sharing it with your family. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna install a rear-facing car seat in that back seat, talk about how much space you have, and then just talk about, is the Wrangler really a good family vehicle? Well, let's go find out. Let's start with the short walk around, but before we do, let me tell you, we had this exact Wrangler already. We had it in the winter time and we did some winter off-roading. So I sunk it in the ice and the mud. If you wanna see how it performs and what kind of adventures you can take your family on, go watch that video right now. We're gonna do the walk around and then throw that baby seat in there. So powering the Wrangler Willys 4xE is a two liter inline four turbocharged engine. It makes 375 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, and that is sent through an eight-speed automatic transmission. The Willys package is the more affordable off-roader in the lineup, so it gets features like these larger 33-inch BF Goodrich KO2 tires, and probably the most important upgrade for 2024 is a electronic rear locking differential. Before, the Willys only had a limited slip, but now it has that rear locker. And then, of course, everything else that makes a Wrangler great off-road, like exposed tow hooks, a tall bumper for an excellent approach angle. As we come down the side our Wrangler today is fitted with a pretty nice protective rock slider right there which is nice to have but of course we are trying to focus this on families so the other thing families need besides rear seat space is cargo space so let's take a look in the back of this Wrangler and it actually is quite a bit of space. Just sort of doing the arm test, I can reach all the way in there and just get to that back seat. And this is very important. You want all of this space because yes, if you have kids, you're bringing them their car seats and all their stuff. Now you do get some nice, D-rings, which are incorporated right down here into the floor. So back here, if you are out adventuring and bouncing around, you can actually tie those things down. And then yes, of course, this is a Wrangler, so this whole roof can come off as well, just to uh, really pump up the fun. Now, there's one other number I wanna throw at you because it's important. It is the payload number. And uh, yeah, it's less than 900 pounds, which frankly isn't great because again, you're bringing your family with all their stuff, that weighs a lot generally. So yeah, not amazing payload here on this 4xE, and that's mostly because you're getting the battery in the hybrid setup, this vehicle ends up being heavier than a standard Wrangler, and that takes away from your payload. Now let's dig into this rear seat, and there's a couple things to talk about before I get in and install the baby seat. The first one is that rear seat safety was massively improved for 2024 in the Wrangler thanks to rear side curtain airbags. They were never here before in the Wrangler, and then quite honestly, Ford kind of forced their hands because the Bronco came out with rear side curtains and Jeep responded. So yes, there is just more safety thanks to the airbags. Now before the baby seat gets in, let me get in. So this is 38.2 inches of rear seat legroom, and it's quite a bit. This seat's maybe pushed a little far forward, but not way up. I have more than enough space. My knees aren't too tall, more than enough headroom. So yes, a full-size adult will absolutely fit in the back seat of a Jeep Wrangler, but that doesn't necessarily mean the baby seat's gonna fit great. So let's take a look at that now. So this is my Graco Forever. And actually I have just enough clearance to that front seat as it is, so I'll just leave it right where it is. So the real key, I can find this latch, when installing these baby seats, is to make sure you have no twists in your straps and to make sure that you're installing them level. So that's okay, no twists there clips in on this side. Now we do have two lower latch positions, one driver side, one passenger side, three top tethers for those forward facing seats. Now once you get your lower latch on, you want to use your body weight, reach in, push down on that seat, pull up on that strap, and then again make sure you work it around 
so that it's properly level. And then the fitment check or the tightness check is to use your non-dominant hand. So my left hand right here by the belt path, it shouldn't move more than an inch. I don't think that's quite an inch, but honestly, I think it's always better to be safe. So uh, let's try to crank it up just a little bit more there. Oh yeah, now it's nice and tight. So at the belt path, no more than one inch. And you can see, I actually have a decent amount of space to my front driver's seat. Now we go by the sheet of paper rule, which means a sheet of paper needs to be able to pass through the front seat and the baby seat. So let's go up front now, I'll adjust that, and then I'll climb into the driver's seat and we'll see what the space is like. So we push this guy back till it touches, bring it forward about a click. And each baby seat is different. This is sort of the general disclaimer. Look in your owner's manual. Every company will tell you what they expect and how it's supposed to be installed. In this case, there can be no contact between this front seat and the baby seat. So it's allowed to do its thing. And now let me climb in. So, this is a fully comfortable seating position for me. It's not really compromised in a lot of vehicles. Once that rear facing seat is in there, I feel like I need to move way forward. If the seat wasn't back there, I would be further back. So I'm cheated up a little bit. You can sort of see it in the bend of my knee. It's a little more bent, but absolutely. I would, I would have no problem driving like this all day long. So in terms of sort of baby seat comfort in the Jeep Wrangler, you can uh, get two back there with the lower latch. And once they're in, you're not gonna have a big space issue in the front. So I would give this vehicle uh, an A for being able to support those rear facing car seats. Well, folks, we have arrived at the end of this one. Now you probably know this, but the Jeep Wrangler started as a two door only vehicle. And then we got the unlimited four door models. And nowadays, you basically don't even see the two doors anymore. They're almost all four door models. And there's a reason for that. Wranglers are so fun when you take them off road. Again, the roof comes off, so that just adds to the adventure. And like I mentioned off the top, you usually want to bring people with you when you're going out there to have fun. So yes, overall, I would say the Wrangler is a pretty decent family vehicle, assuming you don't need that third row. Well, folks, that is it for this one. Now, please go down there in the comments. Let me know what you think of the Jeep Wrangler. Hey, do you have kids that you put in your Wrangler? Please tell me about it. I want to hear your stories. And then as always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member. Come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.